All right, well, that was weird. Sorry about that. It, uh, the stream kind of disconnected for a second there, but we're good now. Yo, how the fuck is everybody doing here? Welcome to another stream, everybody. Yo, fucking, uh... <laughs> oh, what'd you guys think about the, uh, the Dominatrix stream? I thought that shit was funny as fuck. That was, uh... <laughs> oh, man, she was, she's a good sport. I contacted so many fucking Dominatrix chicks, and, um... Literally, none of them wanted to be on camera at all. And then we found this one who said she'd be on camera only if we, uh, only if she was masked. Like, only if she wore the hood. So nobody knew what she looked like. So, I thought that was funny. That was, uh, that was honestly, uh, it was, it was, uh, my type of shit. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a sadistic motherfucker, but that was really, really good. And, you know, tracksuit's a good sport for actually going along with it as well. So, I really enjoyed it. <clears throat> but, it's all, I mean... <laughs> I was originally thinking about doing it myself, but then I was like, nope, not going to do it because uh, I don't want uh, people talking shit about me saying that I'm cheating on my girlfriend. So uh, I decided that I wasn't going to be the one to do it, which, uh, you know, is respectful because uh, I'm a good, respectful individual. Now, this is what we're going to do today. Uh, well, actually, first of all, I have a special guest. I have a really special guest today, and you guys are going to love him, okay? But before we uh, go to all that, I'm going to talk about the drama with uh, <laughs> Livestream Fails. And, uh, and you, first of all, you guys, motherfucking ass, motherfucking ass, Livestream Fails is <laughs> more toxic than we are. More toxic than we are, honestly. Like, those, those moderators, dude, I can't believe it, dude. They, they... They try to dox my moderators, or they try to dox my fucking, like, somebody who works, like, in development with me, and uh, then they dox everybody else. They dox not only, uh, they not, they don't, they don't, they don't only dox people from my community, they dox people from their own community. As long as somebody talks shits or downvotes on their threads, they literally dox them, and uh, they have their IP, and they, like, fucking DDoS, or, like, I don't know, they just have everyone's IP address, and... They're, like imagine, imagine live stream fails being more toxic than we are, and they wanted to get rid of my community. So there was, there's obviously, uh, you know, there's some other like underlining thing um, that goes with it. Like there's some underlining reason why they banned my shit that was more than just um, the community. I think this is what it is because they also were thinking about banning Greek as well based on some of those threads that we were, that I saw. I think they just, uh, I think they just want streamers to kiss the, to kiss their ass. I think that's what they want. They just want streamers to sh kiss their ass. And if they don't and they talk shit or they just don't kiss their ass, then, uh, they just, you know, that's it. They don't give a shit. You know what I mean? So I think that's what it is. And then there's obviously, I don't think there's any Twitch influence, but they obviously just want streamers. So like, they want to feel like they have power or something. So, um, Which was kind of, like, interesting, to say the least. Um, Alright, so let's go through this, and uh, let's see, let's go through the Reddit recap, and then we'll uh, introduce a special guest. And remember that, remember that letter from the mail? Alright, when we went to the Golden Globes, remember how I said that somebody left something in the mailbox, um, but I couldn't get in the mailbox, I didn't have a mailbox key? Well, I got the letter out of the mailbox, and I saw, and I opened it, and I read it, because uh, I was just like, okay, what the fuck is this? And, um, yeah, I don't know what this is, to be honest, dude. It's some weird shit, dog. They have some sort of, like, uh, silver thing down here. And it says this. Hello, Ice Poseidon. Welcome to the preliminary round of the Liar Game Tournament. I'd like to formally invite you and a few other streamers to participate in a social experiment I've put together... Let's call it one of the first applications of alternate reality streamed to the entire world. We're not Circada or Forest Fen. Our game involves less mathematics or digging. This is a game you will play with your peers. The instructions will come soon. I've sent you a little gift with this letter. This game is to be played with your viewers. If you accept the conditions of the game, consume the gift that you will receive soon. Think of it as taking the red pill and going deeper into our game. If you choose not to play, 
You'll choose to hear back from me soon. I also give you the option to nominate another streamer for, of your choosing for this game, but you'll do it for the content, right? Bonus, I've buried, <laughs> I've buried a stash of $10,000 near your house, but you'll have to use the geocaching app as well to decode the clues to claim it. You have until the end of January to claim this money, or one of your viewers may find it before you do. I'll be sure to encrypt the next letter using PGP so our communication will not be intercepted. So seriously, the organization. Now, I don't know what that means, and I don't believe anything that's this fucking letter says. Yeah, there's $10,000 stashed near my house. Like, okay. But there is this fucking silver thing, so I'm assuming this is a pill, because that's just kind of what the thing was implying. So, uh... I'm not going to take the pill, because why the fuck would I? I'm not taking some random fucking pill from the goddamn mail. But I'm curious to see what this is. Sounds like this, the, somebody who left the letter just wants uh, either attention, or they just want me to look stupid or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what this is. This is like some like deep web shit? Or, <laughs> it's like some deep web shit or what? Like I don't even know, dude. Like, I'm kind of scared, bro, to be honest, like, to open this. Like, what if I open this and it's, like, liquid that, like, absorbs through my skin and makes me trip balls? Or, like, anthrax. <laughs> I'm gonna put on some gloves and open it. Hold on. Just because, like, I don't know. It's, like, a weird... It's, like, pretty... It's pretty sealed. Like, I've ordered a lot of shit online... And like, that seems like, I don't even, like, I don't know, to be honest. It seems a little like, uh, weird. Okay. I don't have a mask or anything to wear. Actually, I do have a mask. Hold on. F in the chat for all the fallen ones today. We had Paul took... We had mods cleaning up the janitors they are. They can ban us, but the impact of the Reddit is long lasting. I peace CJF. Okay, so we have this mask. And we have this. So let's, uh, let's see here. All right. Carefully open this. What is this? What the fuck is this? What is this thing? I think it's, uh, is this acid? <laughs> what is that? I, I honestly don't even know. I would assume it's acid just because, uh, I've seen acid and they're typically in, like, tabs or something. Let me see if there's anything else in here. <sighs> okay. Um. D I'm not taking that. Um, I'm not taking right that's actually acid. I'm not Let's taking Trump Trump Adams together in two minutes. I'm not taking random fucking acid, bro. He said it was a pill, it's not even a pill. I'm not uh and it, that could just be like poison as well. But let me bring in the the expert, Boldasad here. Um because he's he's done some shit like that before. Uh, 
Huh? Oh wait, how long is the uh, how long is the Trump adjust for, chat? What do you need me for? What is that? What is what is what is this fucking this right here? That is acid, LSD. Somebody sent me it in the mail. Your lucky motherfucker. You want to take it? No. I'm not. I'm scared to take it. I'm uh, not fucking taking it, dude. The first time I ever did acid, it was actually a research chemical called 25i. TDD is a true fuck with fourth floor ten toes down in the chat. Hands and Brandon out here scamming out of me. There's another one. These hoes on the right track with the wrong chain. Get ready for a bumpy ride on them. Can you get high by touching it? No. Well, actually, yeah, not as well. What? What is this that we're listening to? Be careful, it could be a fentanyl tablet. Just as easy, be yeah. careful, it could be a fentanyl tablet. Just it's, as easy, be careful. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, what do you mean I can get it, high by it, touching it? It could be a research chemical, and that would give you a horrible trip. Don't ever do that. That was the worst experience in my life. You're saying you get high by touching it? If you let it soak through your pores, yeah. No, no I'm washing my hands. <sighs> Uh, Vol, tell us about the experience well, with the, the research letter. chemical. Would, would, it was the would, worst would, thing would, in the world. What? Would you take the? Would you take that? Some random shit from the mail. I mean, I have when I've on Silk Road, but I don't know. That, that easily could be a person who wants to kill you. So no. Read what the note says. Hey, look, it's Vol. Thank you. First, no doubt. Uh, yeah, I did no this, right? Thank you. Keep Wait it going. Two. Any more? Can't drive Paul ten minutes. Nope. Vol, get a job. Everyone feels bad. I will get hired if I do this, right? No, you're safe now. Uh, rounded liar game tournament. File. Untitled document. Number one. Page. One of one. Um. So he wants to give you ten thousand dollars and give you drugs. Yeah, he says there's ten grand somewhere, dude, All right. and uh, that he that he hid somewhere, and then and he put Thanks, and he gave me acid, acid. I guess I don't fucking yeah, know. Yeah, it could easily be a research chemical. So. Uh, all right. Well, hopefully, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna take that. I don't. I don't even want. I don't take fucking acid. I don't want to take fucking acid. So. Um. Yeah, I'd rather not, dude. Did you, chat? You really, you really want me to watch fucking Trump? Like, how long does that shit go oh, for? Oh yeah, he's at the border. What does this mean? What What is there this? There is a growing humanitarian and security crisis at our southern border. Every day, Customs and Border Patrol agents encounter thousands of illegal immigrants trying to enter our country. But who cares? We are out of space to hold them, and we have no way to promptly return them back home to their country. Who cares, dude? America proudly welcomes millions of lawful immigrants who enrich our society and contribute to our nation. But Why do we need to send them back, bro? Like, just let them be. Illegal Migration. Like, just let, throw them in, like, a ditch or something, bro. Because that takes away a spot from someone who's been waiting in line legally. Throw them in a, in a ditch or something. Our African Americans and Hispanic Americans. Our southern border is a pipeline for vast quantities of illegal drugs, including meth, heroin, cocaine, and fentanyl. But we don't need to send them back, bro. What do we do with them? Set, put them in a ditch. Kill them? No! They just live in a ditch. From our yes. southern border. Build that wall, More chat. Build it. Will die from drugs. <gasps> Shit, what the fuck? War. In the last two years, ICE officers made 266,000 arrests of aliens with criminal records, including those charged or convicted of 100,000 assaults, 30,000 sex crimes, and 4,000 violent killings. Over the years, thousands of Americans have been brutally killed by those who illegally entered our country. Dude, what the fuck? And thousands more lives will be lost if we don't act right now. This is Use emergency powers, Trump. Crisis, a crisis. Use your emergency powers. I don't, what is this about? I don't get it. So, he can build the wall without Congress if he says it's a national emergency. And Democrats say, you can't do that, you can't say it's a national emergency. And he's saying all these people are raping and bearing drugs and it is a national emergency. So we're going to get a wall. So yeah, he's gonna, just going to say, fuck it, $15 billion wall. Women and children. 
are the biggest victims by far. Won't the government stay uh, shut down, is, though? Yeah. This is Forever. The, he I said that he'll, he'll have the government be oh, shut down for an entire year if, if he has to. He doesn't give a fuck. This is the cycle of human suffering. That I am determined what what to what happens if the government is shut down for a year? IRS is closed all year. Dude, fuck the IRS. Good. I hope this shit stays shut down. I don't want to pay no taxes. And you know what? Tracks and Andy, you're safe now as well, bro. Don't worry about it. Make all the money you can before you go back to the UK. And I think you should be at the Department of Homeland Security. These are the resources that they have requested to I should take that tab. And keep America safe. In fact, I don't believe it, dude. safer than ever before. The proposal from Homeland Security includes cutting edge technology for detecting drugs, weapons, illegal contraband. Dude, the amount of drugs I've gotten through TSA. Like, not on purpose. Like, I'll, like, randomly have ecstasy in my pocket and I get through TSA with it. Or, like, a bunch of weed or something. Like, it's just, like, fuck it, dude. Like they, they look, they're looking for bombs and shit, dude. Hey, Bob. Thank you. Ooch. You are the laziest, most useless waste of space. Get a job. Do something that helps isolate. I'll stay here. You can bait more TTS. Children can be safely and humanely returned back home. Finally, as part of an overall approach to border security, law enforcement professionals have requested. $5.7 billion for a physical barrier. At the request of Democrats, it if you want to keep America safe, you need to take those drugs, eat the drugs, Paul. This for us. Is absolutely critical to border I've never done acid. I've never done acid, and I'm not starting. To, I'm not doing it my first time on stream. No way. I'm a bad trip, and I wouldn't even trust that. Pay for itself. The cost of illegal drugs exceeds five hundred billion. Illegal drugs. Vastly more than the five point seven billion dollars we have requested from Congress. The wall will also be paid for indirectly by, by the great new trade deal we have made with Mexico. Mexico is paying Chuck for it. Schumer, who you will be hearing from. Brian Chuck Schumer. Fake tears. Then we'll find out if it really is LSD and if it is safe or not. LSD is fine. Oh, we could buy a test kit, That right? that's right. Oh, a CVS? Illegal aliens contribute more to the community than bold sad. By paying taxes, building your city, and being more hard workers and like this fat fuck. Mexico will be worried, by the way. Hopefully some more comes in, man. Our nation. The federal government remains shut down. It's a really good use of five bucks. And one reason only, because Democrats... Well, do you complain about illegals crossing the border <laughs> for a job? Well, do you get free money and just play video games? Everything how are you benefiting the USA? Those impacted you have no idea how hard it is to max on RuneScape, bro. But the only solution is for Democrats to pass a spending bill that defends our borders... How long is he going to talk for? The government. This situation... So why does he have to address this on live? Because he wants, he just, I have invited congressional leadership he wants to the wall. Tomorrow he promised the wall, and he's not getting the wall. Yeah, but why does he need to address this live? We can rise above partisan politics in order to support national security. Someone suggested a Oops. barrier is a wall. What? Then why do wealthy politicians... Like Barack Obama and his wall, you tell him, Trump. They don't build Barack walls Obama because wall. they hate the people on the outside, but because they love the people on the inside. The only thing that is immoral is the politicians to do nothing and continue to allow more innocent people to be so... How do you turn this fucking him slap off when I chat? It's really turning me off. Or new CX chat compared to you two. Please, Paul, the first thank you. In California, was savagely murdered. I don't know, to be honest. Who is Trump and TTS? Just came across the border. The life of an American hero was stolen by someone who had no right to be in our country. Day after day, precious lives are cut short by those who have violated our borders. In California, an Air Force veteran was raped, murdered, and beaten to death with a hammer. 
What the fuck? But think about how many illegal alien beat someone with a hammer. Think about how many legal criminals are that murder people, dude. 9 11 inside a job. 9 11 inside a job. Thank you. As unaccompanied minors were arrested and charged last year after viciously stabbing and beating a section I find in the black room is full sad. I can't jump the castle. You need the winged sandals. Whose loved ones were stolen by illegal immigrants. I test kid online for purity. Also got off work. So just tuning in. Did TS see his butt penetrate? Yes. Fathers. So sad. So how does Trump not laugh when he talks? Like I feel like if I was the president, if I was the president of the United States, I would just laugh like halfway through this shit and just it would just be like I don't know, dude. Remember when your username used to be president and you wanted to be president? That's right, dude. On Skype, yeah, I, I, I used to want to be the president. Mm -hmm. Imagine if it was your child, your husband, or your wife. Whose life was so cruelly shattered and totally broken. Can I remember? Trump said hello to the judge on now as he does. Two billion is enough. Trump wants five. Blinding fried baby. Ice is a big Trump supporter. Too scared to upset fan base. Politically, I'm. Hey, the old priest and you are going to realize that you haven't done shit with your life. Um, Dude, a fucking I'm not a fake Trump supporter. I like Trump. I just don't give a shit about politics. I think Trump's a good meme. I'm glad he's president. I'd rather him than Hillary because I can laugh like at something, you know what I mean? Like it's great. Good night. See you later, dude. That's great. I mean, on it, like I like I can't laugh at Hillary. She's too serious. Trump's like, Trump's just funny, dude. What happened to that promise? What happened to the promise he just, Mexico paid? He just addressed it. Uh, Mexico is going to be paying through trade deals. Fuck Mexico as well, dude. Fuck Trump. Fuck Mexico. And you know what? Fuck illegal immigrants. I'm just kidding. Not fuck Mexico, but you know what I mean. All right. Mm. All right. Well, anyone else want to send Paul five dollars to call me a fucking fat ass, or are we are we good? Okay. See you later, Paul. Later, dude. There's two tabs of acid in here. All right. Paul here is ten dollars to go get Paul a task kit. We want to see if someone is trying to kill us. Be a good friend for once. Where do I get a test? Where Where do I get a test kit from? We can go out. We can go buy a test kit. Where do we get those? Actually, somebody someone's gonna call the police and be say I'm acid. All right. Well, fuck. Who cares about politics? Where do I get a test kit? Is it only online? There's no way CVS has a fucking LSD test kit. What if it's not LSD? Then it'll just say it's not. And then we assume it's probably just like something that someone's trying to kill me with. This guy who donated said it, it's it's some good shit based on the artwork, but I, I, I don't care. I'm not taking I've never taken LSD. I don't want to. Like, I'm not trying to. I feel like a head shop is more likely than CVS. Because why the fuck would CVS have... Like, they, they, they have drug tests, but not for acid. That's like... They have shit for, like, meth and stuff. So, uh, I don't know about that one, dude. But I feel like a head shop just might. Let me just do a, Let me tell Jacob to call around and see if he can find a place that has one. While we, uh, sit here for a sec.
All right, Jacob's gonna look at some head shops, see if they have them. Otherwise, he'll just order it next day on like next day shipping hey, online. Sam said in the stream a couple of days ago that you and SSJ were both going to own the same percentage of the company. Is this true? Sam doesn't really know much about the company, so uh, a lot of be careful about what information you hear. I'm not really sure why he would say that either. Um, thank you, little Bjorn, for the motherfucking. 99 cents, dude. Alright, yo, fucking... <laughs> Alright, let's, yeah, uh... My boyfriend's dead. No, it's okay. Thank you, dude. Alright, let's go through this quickly, and then let's, uh... Let's get, uh... To it, alright? Fuck in with our, uh... Guest start thing. So, we have... Keemstar, exposed, livestream fails. Honestly, this was gonna happen. No one's gonna give a shit about the livestream fails... Drama. Like, Reddit's not gonna do anything, even though they should, because they're fucking doxing, and... DDoSing and doing all this fucked up shit, uh, and brigading, which is horrible and horribly against Reddit rules, and something that we've gotten in trouble with on Reddit many times with the admins. So uh, th nothing's gonna happen with the live stream fails drama, uh, or the mods or the subreddit at all. That's what that's probably what's gonna happen. It sucks, uh, unfortunately, but it is what it is. And then what happened to Bjorn? What happened to Bjorn? not gonna what care. Keemstar's not gonna care about that honestly, because it's not YouTube drama. It's just Reddit shit. Um, or like tw t Reddit slash Twitch shit. So uh, Bjorn, I don't know. I mean, he's still. I mean, I think he got like striked or something on his channel. So I'm not really sure. Um, I mean, unless he makes a new channel, then I guess he's just gonna wait till he's on strike. I suppose. Four chan mods appreciation thread. Let's see. Unban Ice Poseidon from Livestream Fail, and then we'll talk about unbanning you. Um, okay, I don't know what the. I guess that's. I'm assuming that's uh, Chan Man. One of the mods, Live Stream Fail, getting banned on uh, 4chan uh, subreddit. Which, I mean, I don't really know, but I think that's what it is. So, that's pretty... Uh, I'm glad they have my back. Good shit. <laughs> Good shit, fucking Petrius, dude. You're the fucking man. Honestly, dude, I, I really fucks with you then. I like that shit. Uh, we got the Mistress Pepe. You know, she went sort of easy on TSA. But, uh, you know, YouTube guidelines and stuff. So, we couldn't go hard as fuck. Uh, but, I mean, she, dude, he's got, like, lashes in his back. Like, fucking... Like, uh, like, like marks, like sweat marks and shit, dude. Now, imagine if EBZ said yes to that, dude. EBZ getting whipped and shit and like, like suspended and, oh, dude, that just would have looked so bad, but it's funny. Um, I want the old season back. Let me see. How do we get from this to this? Okay. This chick, Jesse is not part of anything. Um, she's literally just like, she's funny, like sometimes because she's so fucking delusional, but, uh. Cassandra is like somebody I actually want to be friends with. Jesse, I do not. So uh, that's the difference there. But um, I mean, apparently she's gonna kill herself on. That's what she said on Instagram or Twitter or something. But listen, anybody who actually is thinking about killing themselves, don't tweet about it. She's strictly doing that for attention. Um, and now I, it would suck if she actually did do it and this you know, stream ages horribly and I look like a terrible fucking person, but I'm pretty sure, 99% sure she's doing it for attention uh, and that she's not actually going to kill herself, so, uh, which is good, but, you know, obviously nobody should ever pretend like they're going to do that because that's fucked up, but I don't, like, I don't think she's actually going to do it, which is, you know, hopefully, right? Petition to show Reddit admins with the, with the mods that live stream fails been up to, I bet they won't be happy with them openly breaking Reddit guidelines. No, of course, uh, Listen, Reddit admins aren't gonna care, dude. Like that, the, live stream fail can use the leverage that oh, that's a quarantine subreddit. Why the fuck would you listen to them? And you know the Reddit admins will probably be like, yeah, you're right. This, this sub is quarantine. Fucking, you have. We're not gonna trust anything they say. In and even if like, since it's off-site stuff, like this isn't really proof because we all know it's real. But to Reddit admins, you know, they might think it's fake or like photoshopped or like, I don't know, dude, like it's just, I just don't think it's enough proof since it's nothing on the actual Reddit website. Unfortunately, I would love to see live stream fails get quarantined or something. That would be the funniest thing in the fucking world. Um, or just like they're these mod accounts, live stream fails getting banned. That'd be funny because they're fucking assholes. Um, and they, you know, dox people and shit, but you know, I just don't think any of that's going to actually happen, unfortunately, but. It is what it is. This is what a live stream fail mod looks like. I mean, probably right. 
Exactly. That's what I'm saying, dude. Yo, everybody, F in the chat for our, for uh, this, this guy Ao. He was a uh, somebody who's a part of the community. He was a uh, somebody who donated a lot and somebody who just hung around chat rooms and stuff. I thought it was a troll when I heard it from Sam uh, yesterday, but it's actually true. I looked into it. F in the chat for him. That sucks, dude. Um, you know what I mean? If you ever feel like you need to kill yourself, like there's other ways. There's other things out there. There's other options. Like you will feel better. Give it a year or two. You know what I mean? Like it, t it just takes time. Like I've been depressed. Like this shit takes time. Um, you're going to pay for rent on the first, you bitch. <laughs> Aren't you, bitch boy? And you won't ever bother me while I play RuneScape again. Yes, mistress, I'll pay the rent. I promise. That's... Dude, someone, I got. Some, I think I got some good memes from that stream. I think the memes are gonna be good. Um, all right, let me see what we got here. Uh, the level of incompetence that Ice has around him is off the charts. Almost like they don't want him to succeed. Hey, I know a way for Ice. It's not getting green screens on his live view. I tried talking to Jake about it, but his excuse was to have ten on standby when one breaks. Hello, and then I guess he blocked him. Well, what is it? I'll d. I'll I'll just DM you on uh twitter i what is it i mean we've heard everything you know what i mean we've heard everything dude it's just it's hard to uh like bro we've we've done we've done everything and the, the green bullshit still happens sometimes i think the only way to fix it is just a wireless hdmi but we've tried to look into that and it's just not something that can that's really applicable i feel it's just gonna cause too many points of failure or issues um i think at least so let me see fucking this is just more live stream fails drama saying that they're going to fucking just that they hate me and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, if they fucking dox people and all this other stuff. Proof of live stream, live stream fail mods actually brigading. Let me see. Downvoted, you're welcome. Please brigade this comment. Downvoted, you're welcome. Blah, blah, blah. Please brigade this comment trying to fight the blah, blah, blah on MMORPG. Okay, blah. Just like that. They were brigading. That's highly against Reddit rules. That sucks. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh... Like I said, Ao it sucks that he did that. That's him. I'm pretty sure it sucks. It is what it is. Um, you know, he will uh, he will be missed by his family at least. Um, you know, and this community give him a good 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 old hearts in the chat there. Um, what do we got here? No, don't go out. It's not safe out there. <laughs> okay, and then we it's Uber with a kit. No, I got content to create. It's Uber. It's hiding in a. Kit. Hiding in a cave with like, with me fucking, okay, like walking out of a cave. All right, that's interesting, dude. That's, I love it, dude. And then we have lazy snowflake enabled racism when it was convenient, now it denounces it. Enabled callers when it was funny, now it uses that as an excuse to be test top Andy. Only streams the three hour limit, never on time, sees viewers ATMs. Scared of his subreddit, must be snowflake Andy. All right, um... Thank you so much, dude. Scared of the subreddit. Thank you, dude. Great post you got there. I'll remove that just to show you that you're a fucking dumbass. Okay, thank you so much. Um, all those things might be true, but uh, I still have the power to remove the post. And you do not. So thank you very much, homie. Uh, TSA hate thread for being on the Dominator extreme. Okay, that's, a, that's great, dude. Marie roasting TSA. TSA getting a dildo up his ass to get into the streamer house. Finally losing his virginity. I mean, TSA did have sex with that porn star in the hot tub, so it is what it is. Taco Bell girl, hello sir, how can I help you today? Ice, calm down, I got a girlfriend, so out of respect for her, I can't be helped by you. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, like, if I just did the fucking dominatrix stream, I would just be called a cheater, so I'd rather not, so... Uh, you know, I mean, I had fucking Tinder installed on my phone and people called me a cheater. What a, imagine if I actually did some sexual shit, you know what I mean? It's just, I'm not, like, I don't want that, dude. It's gonna, like, it just makes me look retarded, dude. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to be a cheater, dude. Like, I don't want to be known as that. Let me see, y'all need a haircut or some shit? Richie the Barber, that's some good ass, uh, that's a good Pepe. I like all the Pepe, dude, I don't know where people get these Pepe's from. They, like, these... Did, did these people draw the Pepe's? I mean, they obviously must. Dude, I want to actually get this guy's permission. I want to use these as emotes for the chat. I think that'd be good. If we added these emotes on the, in the chat here, like, this is good. Like, this is actually really, really good. Um, like, I don't know. I mean, obviously he just drew them, but, like, those would be some good, like, not all of these, but just, like, some of these. You know, like, the Boldest Ad one, the Mexican Andy one. They'd be, like, good emotes. 
in the chat, dude. Uh, then we got the slug and the fucking scuff Steve Jobs. Oh, I want a pep. Actually, I, I do have a pepe. Yeah, it's usually it's just messy ass hair like a tie. It's that one. If, I'm sure you guys have seen it if you don't read it. Uh, can we take a moment to recognize how awful this is? What's going on? Who else there's no part of this streams? Anything we want? Um, yeah, but I thought it was funny. So, and uh, people in the chat room seem to really like it. I mean, 161 of you say you don't like it. That sucks, but uh, the chat room seemed to enjoy it very, very much. So, I mean, I thought it was funny. I, I really thought it was. So, I mean, TSA's, uh, he, he was just like, he was just hating life, dude. I didn't tell him we were doing a dominatrix thing. I just said we were going and there's this girl and it's just, it's going to be funny. And he's just like, okay. So, I don't know. <laughs> Let me see. I can't do this out of respect to my girlfriend. Yikes. I don't even know who Ice Poseidon is anymore. Um,. Somebody who doesn't want to cheat on his girlfriend? Like, what do you mean? I got so much shit on Reddit for having Tinder installed. Like, imagine. Like, I, here's the thing, dude. Um, I don't want my girlfriend to break up with me because she makes me happy. And uh, I don't want to lose that because it's been a long fucking time since I've been really, really happy. So I'm not losing that for some fucking one hour stream of, you know what I mean? Like, it's... I'm not, I don't know if she would break up with me, but I just was not wanting to just even go there. You know what I mean? Especially after that tender thing. I got yelled at. <laughs> like, she literally was, like, thinking I cheated on her when she looked on Reddit and people thought I was cheating on her because I had Tinder installed. Imagine if she looked on Reddit and she saw this fucking, See, like, thing. Like, this thing with the dominatrix. She would just be so, like, I would just be questioned by it. And I just don't want to deal with that. Um... I, like, honestly, dude, like, I had to explain myself out of the Tinder, uh, the Tinder situation, so I was just not down for that shit. Let me see. Hyped up the stream for a week saying he would get tortured. A couple days ago, I did say that I was going to be documenting it. I didn't say I was going to be the one getting tortured. I said I'd just be there. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. I mean, I paid, I paid $400 for that. Appreciate it, okay? It was funny. Um, holy shit, 4chan mods want us unbanned. Bro, 4chan's, uh... The only, one of the only internet communities out there that aren't fucking, like, tainted with, like, SJW-nism, dude. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, S like 4 chans like, I mean, it's not as good as it used to be, but it's, um, it's, it's a, it's a good community of, uh, of memes, for sure, still. So, um, you know what I mean? 4 chans some good shit. Like, why the, f like... <laughs> Like, I've been on 4chan a lot, and they they definitely, like, they're, they're on the same sort of humor level that we are, so. Let me see. They're just a little bit more, a little bit more edgy. Um, just be, for, like, you know, more pornography and stuff. Official position to make desktop streams not count towards the 30-day challenge. Yesterday stream's awful. Uh, Alright, so when I started the 30-day uh, stream challenge, I even said, not every day is going to be content. There's not going to be content every day. Sometimes I'm just going to go live and I'm literally just like we're live just to hang out. Like we're not doing anything. Just we're hanging out, dude. Um, Cause there's no way I can make content for every day for 30 days straight because it costs a, sh it costs a lot of money to do stuff. Uh, and I don't want to burn myself out for just trying to figure out what to do every single day. Um, Cause it's not easy to come up with shit to do every single fucking day. But you know, I think we've been doing a pretty good job with trying to come up with shit. Uh, but yeah, there's going to be some days or a couple days or a lot of days where it's just, uh, you know, we're just hanging out, dude. And it's not nothing crazy. And you know what sucks about this thread? This used to be my only content and people loved it. People loved when I would just go live. This motherfucker, we're at the computer and we just chill. We just talk about shit. We just fuck around. But now it's like the bar is so high. I need to lower that bar again. So, I mean, it's true. Like I need to, I'm purposely going to lower the bar again so I don't burn myself out because if I burn myself out, well, then I'm just not going to stream and I'll be taking a week off at a time. Like, you know, like I've done before, like, you know what I mean? So that's just the way it goes. Uh, let me see a rare Gengar. I mean, yesterday we did bring in Jesse and it was just like scuffed funny shit at the same time. A rare Gengar appreciation thread for... Leaking all the Discord logs of live stream fails for deleting the account Gengar and Dr. Bread. Shout out to these guys for uh, totally backstabbing the fuck out of them because that was funny as shit and they honestly deserve it for doxing people. So, it's all good. Let me see mods right now. Motherfucking Hillary. Okay, TSA in the right home realizing, 
Realize there's no appreciation threads. Okay. He should. He deserves an, an appreciation thread. He really does. So you know what? I'll do it. I'll be the one to make a TSA appreciation thread. TSA appreciation thread for being just TSA appreciation thread. Please don't ruin my karma. <laughs> there we go, dude. Come on, man. My karma is pretty good right now. I have... Oh, dude, it's awful. 9,000... Dude, uh, this used to be 30,000 karma. I used to... <laughs> it used to be 30 fucking thousand karma. And you know what? I want to see exactly how many upvotes I'm going to get. So I'm just going to do... Uh, because surely, you know, everyone's going to agree with this and that he deserves an appreciation thread. So I'm going to get at least 5,000 upvotes. So I'm going to say... What do you guys think about TSA. Downvote the thread now, everyone. <laughs> no, don't downvote the thread. You, What do you mean? It's you. I'm not going to say upvote the thread, but I'm going to just say, you know, it's, uh, he deserves some appreciation for sure. <laughs> okay, what is this, Mike? What is, what is this? What is this? Subscribe, I suppose I can. Subscribe to Ice Poseidon. Subscribe to Ice Poseidon. What is this scum shit? Who is this? Subscribe to Ice Poseidon. Subscribe to Ice Poseidon. Subscribe to Ice Poseidon. Subscribe to Ice Poseidon. Wow, I'm very flattered by this. Thank you so fucking much. Is Paul a trap? No, I'm not a trap crazy, but thank you, dude. Um, and thank you, Matthew, for the member, dude. I'm not a fucking trap. Thank you so goddamn much. Um, but no, this chick is... Uh, what? There you go. Gr good, good stream. Good shit. Uh, subscribe to Ice Poseidon. 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 Dude, I could not do this for like fucking ten thousand times. That's crazy, dude. I cannot reach out this entire stream. Well, fuck. Fuck. All right. Well, uh, good luck with your stream, I guess. <laughs> okay. Oh, my gosh, dude. All right. Let me... Uh, all right. That was funny. So, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go get my special guest. Okay. We're going to go get my special guest, and uh, we're going to talk with him, and then we're going to go, and we're going <laughs> to... See, uh, we're gonna hang out and do some shit. All right, so uh, I'll be right back. And are you guys excited? Of course you are. You ready for this? Hello there again. What's up? Harvey J. Good to see you, man. <laughs> bro, bro, I fucking love you, dog. <laughs> I fucking I love you, dude. What 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 do you first of all, what do you think? Well, first, how have you been, dude? I've been good, man. Where what's going on with uh the you Henny House? Fries? Yeah. Yeah, I'll take some fries, dude. What's going on with the Henny House, bro? Just building. What's up with this streamer house, bro? You know I came out here to do the interior design and shit. You know what I'm saying? This okay. The streamer house. I mean, what about it? It's coming soon. Yo, you've been saying that for like the longest. You've been saying that since I met you, bro. You only met me like two weeks ago. Bro, that's a long time. No. You need a new investor, bro. Is that what's going on? Who is no. this guy? Who is this, who is this investor guy? It's a couple guys. I mean, what do you? I mean, how long did it take for you to get the Henny House? Anything is possible. <laughs> I mean, it must have taken a lot of time, right? Like, it takes time, bro. It takes time to do I'm, shit. I'm ready to get to work, man. Bro, you got yeah, hickeys on your neck. If you're not going to, possible. if you're not going to, uh, dig experience, dig experience, 
Dodo Hemi. R.I.P. Lil Dodo. You got hickeys on your neck. Yeah. Who are those from? She tried to make a statement. Like what, a Me Too statement? I don't know. She just was like, she trying to get her, her <laughs> pussy experience points up. To <laughs> <laughs> so trying to mark you down? Man. Who was it? I'm a single man, though. What happened with you and your girlfriend? What you mean? Cause I mean, my fucking Reddit loved loved your girlfriend, dude. They loved every they loved her fucking everything, dude. Her shit, I love her too. She just don't love herself. So what does that mean? She she just gotta find out, man. She's gotta find herself. Yeah, that way. All right. Um. <laughs> I'm trying to change the subject though by on this streamer house shit. Man. Bro, the streamer house is coming. It takes time, dude. We gotta wait till the fucking everything like paperwork and we so everything on this shit longer than the detox album, man. Everything. What takes... country is this fucking this fucking investor from? Um, America. So why is it t- taking so fucking long? Because, bro, it takes time. It's like over this Christmas holiday. <laughs> this shit, this shit really going to the trailer park, ain't it? Bro? Keep, keep it a hundred, man. You gonna do the trailer park? No, I'm not doing no trailer park, homie. It's uh, it's gonna be a fucking house, but it's just like I said, over the Christmas holiday and New Year's. You know, you actually qualify for that a trailer park. You probably get qualified. You wouldn't need investors for that shit. <laughs> okay, but a trailer park is not. That, that's that's content. It's bro. It, no, I don't want to live in a fucking trailer, dude. Like and. No one else is gonna want to live in a fucking trailer. Ask, ask, ask yourself this, though, bro. Have you ever, in your lifetime, ever heard of somebody getting evicted from a trailer? Has that happened? I could probably find a way, dude. Honestly, anything can happen, but it's never happened. <laughs> what do you so, mean, bro? I'm just gonna get shot by some fucking trailer Kona hillbilly fuck. Not, not if you buy the whole shit. If you got the whole trailer park, understand your Reddit has a vision, bro. All right, so let's say I got a trailer park. Yeah. How do you think that would go? Do you think people on Reddit would actually appreciate a bunch of trailers? They would be... I would get the trailer park, spend all the money for the trailers, and then they'd be making threads How saying, Ha ha, we tricked you. This actually is shitty. Well, what if what if your investor is tricking you? What if they're not actually investing? But what they, if this is all a scam? How? What if it was? Hypothetically. I mean, that I would fire everybody that works for me and start all over again. Bro, the trailer park would be a movie. I'll tell you why. Because you could do Versace trailers. You could upgrade the trailers. You could do nicer trailers. And then you could have scummy trailers. You could have scuff trailers. You could have Andy trailers. You get what I'm saying? Like you could. So have- you would live in a trailer park? Bro, as long as Medusa on Yo, the front door. Yo, you got the fast but no shake. I set up Jesse the slug for him quick. Anything is possible. Bro, what the fuck? Um, okay, listen. If the if the streamer house if I don't if if the streamer house does fall through, it won't though because we already have all the fucking pa- paperwork signed. But to drink Henny for the first time in my life. That shit was awful. Thanks <laughs> a lot. Wasted my money. I hope when I see that on your face, it hits your eye. <laughs> No, okay, so let's say let's say this. I already signed contracts with Streamer House, but if it does fall through for whatever reason, then sure. You know what? I'll go live in a trailer for a little bit. I'll buy a bunch of trailers for a little bit. What about Henny House LA? You would you cross over to the brown side if it fell through? I mean, sure. You if you want to be my investor, sure. If you if you want to fucking pay for the house, go for it, homie. I think yeah, we can do that. But I I don't I think I got a house. You can go look at it tomorrow. What house? Any house, LA. <laughs> oh, but you got money for the house, though. It's like gonna be three hundred, four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars. In what time period? This month. Oh no, that's when you rent. What you mean? We don't rent. They just buy the houses. All right. I mean, do you have like five million dollars? That's how hey, much the I streamer house is gonna be. Check the date, by the way. Yeah, yeah, like five million dollars, dude. Like a like a nine, eight, nine, Let's go fucking some shit tomorrow. more than five, six bedroom house. Like, yeah. Gorilla, raise your hand. Like fucking LA is expensive as shit, dude. Let me see. Where's the news though? What is this? Check the date, by the way. Two 
Stream in 30 minutes. Exciting news about Streamer House soon. And this was exactly a year ago. Vicky Harvey, I want in why I want for you finessing me out of one thousand dollars. Uh, I, I, your, I don't know anything about that one, J Rock. He said, "I want your what?" I said, "He said, fuck you, Harvey. I want my one for you finessing me out of a thousand dollars." So, so the, <laughs> so the streamer house. Uh, listen, bro. I know a year ago I was saying talking about a streamer house, but uh, you know, like it fell through. That deal fell through. But this deal, we actually signed contracts. We've already done it. Um, so I mean, like we. And these aren't with Indians. They're white people. So it's there's no there's no like there's no way it'll fall through this time. So it's fine. Entire. Are they, are they white white people or are they just white people? They're just white people. I don't know. There's white guys that have money. I don't know, dude. They're just like, yo, fucking let me give you money. I'm like, all right. Um, Tell them to stop stalling, bro. The culture wants to see this shit happen. It takes time, bro. Like, if we, yeah, we're, we're working with a lot of money here. It takes time to, to go. This is why it takes time for, like, YouTube and Twitch and, like, all these co big companies to make updates because when there's a lot of things involved, a lot of moving components, it's, uh, you know, you got to go, one person got to go through another person, through another you person, move, through another you person. Move, you move faster than anybody I know, bro. I don't think it'll take much for you to move. Well, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, we've already signed contracts. We got sent money, and we've been through. We we went through like a long process that usually takes like months and months. We've done it in two months because we've been, you know, pushing for it. Um, don't, don't let these these folks scam you, bro. No one forget it's too late to turn to the brown side. No one, not me. <laughs> no one scamming. So this one, there's a ghost town here for sale under a million dollars. But the problem is uh, for this one is, I mean, there's. We'd have to build cell phone towers because there's probably no internet. And then how do we sustain the city? We'd like buy food and like stock a grocery store and have like Andy's fucking live there and like work in the city and stuff. What about running water and sewage? If, if Trump pulled it off, I feel like we could. Trump's a billionaire, bro. How about sewage, running water? What about fucking the heat heater, like heated water, dude? Like, it's it's going to be more than a million. It's going to cost a few million dollars to renovate that city into something I can live in. Unless I'm going to be shitting in fucking holes and, like, putting, like, sand on top of it so it doesn't smell. And, like, wiping my ass with fucking leaves and shit. Like, uh... <laughs> I think that's what they want to see, though. So, are you going to do it for the fans or are you going to do it for... Who you living for, bro? Who are you living for? I live for it all. They know who I'm living for. I live for it all, but I'm also thinking about stuff that's going to be practical. Yeah. A fucking ghost town's not very practical, dude. Like, What if you only was there part-time? And then think about it like this. Well, I mean, that could be better, but that's still going to cost a lot of money. But here's the thing. Well, we, cause we don't even have to buy it. We can just go there and just take it over anyways. But Because I'm going to eventually run out of shit to do in a town in the middle of nowhere, dude. Like, It would be content for like a month. Nah, you know there's more ghosts than there are people. So if it's a ghost town, like your ghost would be the content. You could turn into like a live paranormal activity. Ghosts don't exist, bro. Not like that, at least, no. Well, I mean, it depends on how you look at it. Hold on, let me see. What, uh... Mm -mm. Ghosts don't fucking, like, it's it's not really... Listen, I'll think about it, okay? If this falls through, I'll think about the ghost town and the trailers or anything else. But it is what it is. Now, Harvey... Right. Now that you're here in LA, and little Dodo is single back in Atlanta. Oh no! With she all my viewers, she's not in Atlanta no more. Single with my viewers looking for her to try to date her. Yeah, they can find her. Now that you're here in LA, yeah. What are your plans to be while you're here? Shit, man. <laughs> Why am I here? That's a good question. What the fuck is? You said the streamer house is going to be up and running by now. So basically, I scammed Harvey. I said the streamer house is going to already be happening. Uh, and he was going to come over and do some interior design for the house. But, you know. <laughs> we're not in the streamer house, so we're fucking... Uh, on a, um, we're fucking... He's just here in my fucking beanbag room. <laughs> That's Gus Team Jobs. I don't think he's being played slept on. On a, on a plus side, uh, <laughs> On the plus side, little Dodo was single, so, you know, I think that's something that we was all waiting on. <laughs> Everybody ready for that. 
<laughs> you, you don't only use me blade but he peed on the beanbag. Who? <laughs> is that why it smell like that in there? Bro, if you take the sheet off, it's got black mold on it. <laughs> he, he, what? He got so drunk on the beanbag, he fucking peed in it. Which one? The big purple one. <laughs> You got black mold in a beanbag. Yeah, you want to see it? Look, look at this. Look, I have fucking literally black mold um, in a photo here that I took with the beanbag. Yeah, right here. Why don't you get rid of the beanbag? Because the beanbag was $300, Harvey. And I'm not getting rid of that because that's a lot of fucking money. Uh, only use me blade can reimburse or what I can do is this a is we use the flamethrower and we burn it yeah you should do that and use Hennessy as a celery actually that wouldn't be too bad but that might cause a big fire dude that's a that's, it's literally a 10 foot bean bag dude like that would be a do you think that's a, Bro, there are, there a, a fire are, hazard? There are fi wildfires here all of the time. Why do you think that is? So, might as well have another one? Bro, become a statistic. You don't want to be a normie, bro. Become a statistic. I don't want to go to jail for five years for arson, though. That's not arson. What you mean, dude? You're almost, Brad, and you end up paying a lot more than 300 for in the bag. You know what? Yo, wait, let me see that shit that you guys sent earlier. We might, we might burn you know, the bag. You, you actually might actually be like slipping, slip tripping on acid just from touching it. Let me see what you got. Where you this one right here. Let I, me see it. I don't oh, want you're to, afraid to touch it now? I'm, yeah. You were literally like just touching it. There. Can I see it? Like, you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna grab it? I don't want to touch it, dude. I'm gonna get high. <laughs> Bro, that shit is all the way over there. We don't like TTSA. We don't like this normie shit. Please, TTSA, go back to England. Oh, yeah, that's definitely... Mm, Double-sided. Yeah. Don't fuck with that, bro. What do you mean? Hennessy's better. Damn, dude, fuck it, dude. All right, um... Fucking, no, we could, uh... We could, we could burn it. Let me see. We don't like TSA. We, we don't like this normie shit, please. TSA, go back to England. All right, thank you, dude. Appreciate it. So... Um, yeah, so this guy who sent me the acid also sent me a fucking geocatcher that says there's $10,000 hidden somewhere. But there's not. He just wants me to take the acid for sure. Do you believe that? I was about to say that. No, I don't believe that at all, dude. It sounds like you're an investor. Capping. Dude, you're not. No, that's. What do you mean, dude? Bro, okay, first of all, let me. Let me, let me, let me show you something. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me call somebody here. Let's get turned. Let's get turned. Let's go smoke the blood. Did you watch this? Yeah, what's up? Hold on. Um, give me one second, Brent. Okay, I need to, to listen to this real quick. And... I found him as a puppet. He was found by Muriel. They was in the middle of nowhere with her husband. You used his bag. Okay. Thank you, dude. Thank you. I love that fucking show. All right. Brent. Yeah, that's my shit. Harvey doesn't believe that there's investors. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. I don't know. I don't know what to tell him. He doesn't believe me. No, what you mean? That's not okay. That's that, I don't want him to think that. You show, you show Harvey the uh, you can't show Harvey the, 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 the domain name that they bought. Because why the fuck I spent ten thousand dollars on He Harvey says that we should get a trailer park. What do you think about that? I said that like a year and a half ago, and you told me fuck now. Yeah, but, I mean, if I wanted to do a trailer park nowadays, you would think that's fine? Well, it depends on how we built the, the 
not trailers, but like small houses, like small, like your guest house. No, like trailer like trailers, animal? like, like we 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 stole them from uh, Skid Row. Oh no, I don't want to live in a trailer. But what if it was? You literally suggested we live in a storage container, dude. What if it was like a Versace? Yeah. What if it was a Versace trailer I'm, I'm with like Hermes rugs and that was my idea. What is it? So like a four, I wanted to build like a 4,000 square foot warehouse that we just, at the studio that we do productions in, and then we surround it by a bunch of one bedroom guest houses. That's what I wanted to do, but you said no. <laughs> okay. I don't uh, know, bro. Trailer Park sounds like a winner. Yeah. Um, Especially if you decked it out. Imagine yeah, if you had Netflix 4K streaming in the fucking trailer park. Bitches love Netflix. You get Netflix 4K going and some trailers, bro, they're there. You don't even need beds. Um, anyway, uh, I'll be at your house in like two hours or something like that. I'm almost done here. Okay, where'd you put the flamethrower? Under, uh, underneath your bed. Okay, I might uh, burn the black mold beanbag. The what? I might burn no. the black mold beanbag. Three like, times. No. Three times. Yeah, no more. And definitely not something that stupid. Why? But the, it's a health hazard. Because that's too much fire, man. You'd have to have, like... No, that's too much fire, man. But it's, a, it's a health in, hazard in and y'all fire, are trying to get me to sleep in, in that the room. Fire, uh, in the fire pit in pieces, but if you try to burn that whole thing, you will burn the house down. Man. There's no way. Okay, well, no, I mean, I'm trying to put me in this room with this this diabolical beanbag. So like, yeah, I mean, Harvey's got no. How's that ass in treating Har- you? Harvey's got nowhere to sleep but that bla- but that beanbag. But I have seven mattresses in the guest house. <laughs> yeah, but I, I want I wanted Harvey to sleep on the beanbag though. Did those get pissed on? <laughs> dude, I I slept on the beanbag last night, dude. Comfortable. Well, Eddie, please take your robot okay, well, thank you, dude. and explains your tattoos. One by one. While looking into the camera, I just can't watch what he has to pay for the. No, what you mean? Why would I not want to watch it? All right, thank you, dude. Hey, Steve, that's the All right, thank you, dude. L- the acid, the LC is laced. Send it to me, I'll test it. Okay, thank you, dude. Um, Well, Jacob was looking for a testing kit. I don't think he found any, though, so it's fine. All right. How about you this? You know, there's a way you can test LSD with Hennessy. How? If you put the LSD on a blank sheet of paper and you take the Hennessy and you pour it on it, if the Hennessy washes off the ink, then that means it's fake. If the Hennessy doesn't wash like the ink stays intact, that's how you know it's genuine LSD. I get rid of mold for a living. What? This can cost you up to $10,000 if you don't get rid of it. Not to mention you getting sick. I mean, Scusty Jobs hasn't gone sick, so I don't know. All right, well, let's test it then. Fuck it. Let's, uh, I mean... You need a, actually, I'm just, I don't want to ruin the acid, dude, for like that. I want to actually test it, so um, I don't want to just take it right now. No, I want to. I want to test the the I want, in a test you, kit. I'm not taking you, random acid. How do you think people tested LSD back in the 1700s before they had test kits? LSD was made in 1947, dude. How do you know that? Because I did my research. Oh, okay. It was made in a lab. But you don't know where to find the gift. They, they gave it to fucking monkeys and shit as like a truth serum. Right. And like they well, tested the monkeys and they give it to humans like a truth serum in 1947. So um, that's not good. But hey. So what year was Hennessy created? I don't know, like 2003? You, you studied the wrong shit, bro. Hennessy's been around a lot longer. All right. Let's see here. <clears throat> When was Hennessy invented? 1765. What? Really? 1765? This is my fourth lifetime. I I really thought that. Okay, I really thought that. Uh, like some rappers made it like a few years ago. I don't fucking know, dude. What the hell? Um. All right. Well, so here's the thing. Harvey, are you gonna be streaming when you're in LA? Every day. 30 day stream channel. Harvey's gonna be streaming while he's here. 
I'm going to put him on the network, and he's going to be staying in my guest room. And we're going to see how he does as a live streamer. What kind of content are you going to create? Good content. You're welcome to invite anyone you want to the house. You can do whatever you want. You can bring a fucking crackhead. I don't care. What about an elephant? You can bring anything you want. Anything. Anything, yes. Actually, um... Harvey Harvey said he knew one of the girls that, uh, you know, uh, Samantha, the girl that fucking spit on my face. He says that he used to live $10, with that girl that was her friend that came the over my house. The Here, show, actually, show a picture of her. Actually, uh, it wasn't quite didn't go down like that. So we had a frat house in Miami and Samantha was homeless and she kind of just was falling through. So you knew her? I seen her in passing. Okay. I was cool with Cam, though. Camilla. She cool with what? Sam. She's just a homeless fucking crackhead? She do readings and shit. Did she do your reading? What do you mean readings? She do like the little uh, voodoo and shit, you know? No, she fucking sucked everyone's dick Let's and came on Or just spit on my face. Damn, bro. Well, that is a form of voodoo. She put all, everybody's, like, semen and sins on your face and shit. <laughs> I mean, basically, um, let Chef Henny test the acid. I mean, would you like the acid? Pour some Hennessy on it. If the ink stays intact, then we know it's legit. And it got fortified. And then you're going to take the acid after you pour it on? We can split a tab, bro. I'm not taking a fucking not on stream, bro. I'm not taking a damn acid. Like the stream get bad luck in the next ten years. Thank you, dude. Autism. LSD cures autism. I mean, it probably fucking does, but I'm not taking that fucking weird that shit, dude. Honestly, we can't split a tab, anyways. Yeah, you can. Show the clip. Oh yeah, you want to see the clip? Let me show you the clip here. Of um, what just happened here? I see our dominant will catch up to you and meet the wrong person. Uh, you're dumb. It'll catch up to you. When you meet the wrong person. I don't know what that means. Motherfucker, how do I meet the wrong person? But thank you, dude. Hey, hey. Here, so we called her Abortion Andy because she had a bunch of abortions. She, that she did. And, or like three abortions. We called her uh, Triple Kill Andy. Hey, hey, what's up? Hey, hey, hey. 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 I can see why she was homeless in Miami. I mean, it was mad interesting. So, like, the day that I met Samantha, the day she came through, my boy was like, yo, she does readings and shit. So, she was like, she offered to give me, like, a back massage. I have an idea. You know, I have... I, you I should love. contact Samantha and do a stream with her. Bring her over. And then I'll spray her with more Febreze. Actually, I if you did your research, you would know that LSD was derived from the ergot fungus, which is why the witches took back in Salem in 1692. Facts. Well, we have scientists in Why the town. fuck would you eat fungus, dude? Um, no, you should you should do a stream with her. Bring her over here, lure her, and then I'll spray her with Febreze. All right, let me call her. All right, I mean, if you just have her number, fuck shit, why not? That seems good. Like, fuck it, dude. That's That's convenient. I don't, I'm pretty sure she goes through, like, um, numbers like nobody's business. 
I bet. I mean, she probably loses her phones left to right, dude. Fucking doing drugs or something. How long was she on, like, the stream and shit, like, on the butt? Fucking, what, two days or something? Because she, uh, she fucking was, like, smoking weed where it, it was illegal. And then it was just, like... When, when did this happen? I kicked happen? her out because she's just fuck her, dude. I hated her. When does this happen? Like, seven months ago. Alright, bet. Hold on. Wait, let me see your text with her. What? It's still a FaceTime, so it might still be her number. Give him the acid. He wants the acid. Harvey for the acid. I don't think he wants the acid, dude. Yeah, we left her in the desert in Arizona. Like, at a gas station in the middle of nowhere. That shit sound, that sound like an expensive-ass Uber, bro. Oh, no, she said she sucked someone's dick, bro, to get back. Get back where? To L.A. Oh. What was your text with her? You want to read them? Yeah, I'm curious. Um, okay. Let me just scroll up to the top, then. And by the way, I saw your uh, you were making memes on Reddit as well. Hell yeah! What uh, what made you do that? Because I was looking on Reddit, I saw that you have uh, like you were making memes about your about like just stuff you were doing. I, I I can't. I'm not gonna cap, bro. I just posted memes that I thought was funny. I don't actually like make them. So you 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 take you take the memes like you saw that and you took it. Yeah, that shit was funny as fuck. Interesting. Because I have I have spoke at a school before. <laughs> the pictures out there I've spoken at school too. Like <laughs> the tempo pots are outnumbered. We lit. <laughs> what? The they be on them box heavy, bro. Oh, I know. heavy. <laughs> Bro, I think you're funny, dude. Like you, you, your meme game is heavy, bro. Like, what does this mean? Ice my ice made you, and you're homeless. What does that mean? Shit, I'm here now. <laughs> we lit. <laughs> well, what, is, what does that mean, though? What? What is? Are you saying that when? Oh, she's calling. Oh shit, she's calling me back. All right, so don't say nothing. Mm -hmm. Nobody can say nothing. Yo, this shit is still your number? Yeah, what's up? I was checking on you because I had talked to Camilla. and oh, your mustache. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Where you at? I'm in D.C., Baltimore, so. Are you still living with her? She didn't really want to talk to me because of the situation she's going through and shit right now. Dude, I mean, I don't know what she's going through, but, like, she don't talk to me no more because of that bitch Taylor. I don't she's know. Still I don't know who that so is. She still fucks with Taylor, and Taylor don't fuck with her, so. It's all good. Like, I don't mind Camilla, but we don't talk, you know? <laughs> y'all should get back cool ASAP so I can hang out with y'all. I haven't seen either one of y'all since that day. Yeah, uh, I know. Where the fuck was we? I know, I miss her. Like, she just needs to stop hanging out with Taylor. As soon as she stops hanging out with Taylor, that's fine. <laughs> Tell her I'll do her hair. <laughs> This is hairdresser girl, but she got she stole my laptop when we went to New York. That girl, so I don't fuck with her. Where are you at? You're in Atlanta? Hell nah. You're in LA? How you know? <laughs> I know. How you know? Because. How you know that? Because she got like a No, I'm just smiling. I'm drunk. It's no, on. I like the look, though. It's cool. What do you mean? <laughs> Anything is possible. Exactly. So when yeah, when's the next when the next, like, when the next time you gonna be out this way? I know. I don't know. Um, what what year is it? What day is it? I don't even fucking know. Yeah. Fucking. I don't know. Like, what really year is it? It's two thousand and twenty. <laughs> I mean, 19. No, not yet. Not yet. Tw 19, yeah. You'll know when it's 2020. I don't know. I'll be out there, though. You'll know. 
Alright, for sure. Alright, I'll let you know. Oh, yeah. Somebody wanted to say hi. Hold on. Don't be shy. Hey, Samantha. How you doing? Oh, my God. Don't worry. I can't spray you through the phone. Oh, my God. What are you doing over there in D.C.? I'm with my daughter. Oh, oh that's nice. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, it's been good. That's good. How you been, though? What did you do after the desert? Um, a Navajo lady picked me up, and I went to Flagstaff. Oh. And um, then that's where Sozer got me a train ticket back to L.A. <laughs> the guy that you guys thought was, like, gang-affiliated, but he's really just, like, a live me guy. The um, live me guy? Yeah, he, like, does live me. What's live me? <laughs> He uh, has like 30k fans on live me. He's not gang affiliated. He's oh, like a graffiti artist from the 90s. I used to do live me too. That's funny. Yeah. It all just comes together, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, so, um, no, but then I went back to LA and, um, I don't know. A lot of your fans were like really nice to me. So I linked up with some people that were like feeling bad for me and then I left. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's crazy. Is it... Why did you leave? I just... Wait, met... is it Dan Kwan's baby? No, it's it's a six-year-old child that I had with someone from Baltimore. Oh, okay. That makes... How do you know Harvey? How do you know Harvey? I know everybody. <laughs> we just okay. met on... We just met a couple weeks ago at the Henny house. But I was telling him I've been knowing Samantha... Since back in the day. Wait a minute. You you met who at the Henny House? Me? I met him. I met up with him at the fucking Henny House in Atlanta. You went to the Henny House? You're desperate. For I'm what? Desperate for what? I was in Baltimore too. I was everywhere. I did a fucking road trip. That's great. I'd been everywhere, Samantha. That's lovely. Good shit. You want to come to LA and live in my so closet? What's up, guys? What'd you call me for? Do we want, do you want to come to LA and live in my closet? Yeah, of course. Oh my god, it's my dream. I mean, why not? Or like, not, not my closet. Maybe like my, I don't know. I have like a like a. I can make like a fort. Like a we have seven mattresses. No, um, make like no, a fucking I have, fort. I have a closet here. I have to live in. Oh, okay. Well, we. I just thought it was funny that he knew who you were and it was just, you guys all met and stuff. So I just wanted him to call you and just fucking just funny. just see what's up with you. So. That's good. Yeah, I, I can still taste the spit on me. That's good. That's not good. That's never good. You didn't like it? No, it it, it was gross. Yo, you, you for you didn't like it a little bit? Easy. <laughs> you, like, you got, I was like drinking out the straw and I had Febreze like on my Hennessy just now. <laughs> this motherfucker's like a cereal Febrezer. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Well, before we, uh, before we go... I just wanted to say, I'm sorry for dropping you off in the desert. Can I get an apology for you spitting on me? I mean, you don't have to be sorry for dropping me off in the desert, but you do have to be sorry for spraying me. Then I might be sorry for spitting on you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, it, was just a, it was just a joke, Samantha. It was just a joke. Okay. Well, I think your whole show's a joke, so... But how, though? Well, obviously because I spit on you. How does that make it a joke, though? No, I'm saying because it's a joke, I spit on you. Like, like I could give two shits about your show, which is why I got off in the middle of the desert. Yeah, but the sp- I don't, the spit is not, is not a joke, because that could be, that's, there's germs in there. Well, do you have AIDS? No, but I don't know what... Uh, do you? I don't know. I just... I don't know. I don't know. And you don't know either. So it's like ger- spitting germs at each other is never good. I think... I think I do a lot worse things with people on a daily basis. Like what? With a lot less trustworthy people than you. Such so as? I'm not really worried about it. And I don't think you should be either. I mean, I'm not really worried about it. I'm just... Mexican Andy. Well, I mean, Max Gandy's a good guy. Actually, he's over in uh, D.C. right now. Well, I don't know 
what you're tripping about. Wait, Mexican Andy's in D.C. right now. You should totally meet up with him. Can I hook you guys up together? For what? For to fun? stream my life? For fun? I don't know. It would be funny. Like, create content every week and second? Hey, kids, today we're going to go to the fucking museum because we're in D.C. What the fuck do I do in D.C.? Uh, you hang out with Mexican Andy and you guys do streams yeah, together. Yeah, that's going to happen. <laughs> Sorry. But why? Like, I have to raise my kid right now. That's my only mission. Yeah, bring your kid along. Mexican Andy will be a good dad. Oh I'm serious. Mexican Andy is a nice guy. No, I get it. But, like, the rest of, like, I don't know. Like, I have, like, a family and, like. Yeah, just bring them all a family family. night out at Mexican Andy's stream. Yeah, it wouldn't go over well. I mean, I don't know. Like, why not? He's a nice guy. He was hanging with this, this, this other girl and she had a kid and. You know? I mean, maybe if it was worth it, but it's just like, it's live streaming. Like, everybody can live stream. I'm not just trying to ruin my life for next Kenny Andy. <laughs> Why do you say your life would be ruined? You think his life is ruined for associating with me? Maybe not yet. But you, hey, stop hanging out with this guy. My life, okay, you think my life is ruined? Hey, I don't know what your life is like. You're calling me on FaceTime right now. I'm watching fucking you on Netflix. Whatever the fuck this shit is. <laughs> You're watching me on Netflix? No, it's called you. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't fucking know what that is. It but probably is you. I mean, no, it's about this guy who like stalks this girl because he's in love with her. And he goes to great lengths. Like spraying her with Febreze and like calling her years later. I'm just kidding. I mean, it's only been seven months, and I, you just ha- he just happened to know, I don't know. he just I don't happened know. to know you. I'm not stalking you. I mean, that's like some Burger Planet shit. So that's no, what... I really don't have a good perception of time. I don't know how long it's been. It's been seven months. I oh, count that's, months. that's not that long ago. No, it's, it's not. not been like years. Yeah, that's not even a big deal, honestly. So it it is what it is. But uh, okay, Samantha. Well, if, I guess uh, have a good day. Fucking thank you for talking to us. Have a good night in your gaming chair. Thank you. Oh, she seemed nice. She didn't seem fucking wacko like last time. I really wanted, dude. Mexican Andy's in DC. I, dude, if she would have hung out, I wish I could have convinced her to hang out with Mexican Andy. But obviously, she has a kid, and like I wasn't gonna go too hard on convincing her. Cause I forgot she had a kid. It's, it's like I she's got she other shit be. going on, but that would, bro, that would be funny though. If she like hung out with Andy. That would have been the funniest fucking coincidence ever. Uh, no, I can't, uh, I don't think burning that bean back with the flamethrower is a good idea. I literally had the police come last night, and the landlord did say, if you use the flamethrower one more time, they're going to evict us. <laughs> so, I'm not going to use it less than 24 hours later. It's not a good idea, and the bean bag's like 10 feet wide, so it's just going to be a huge fire, which is not a good idea with trees and shit around. But, what we can do is go out and, uh, do some, do some shit. So, Let's go somewhere, and let's fucking... I mean, we could take the beanbag somewhere else. That's not my house, honestly. Actually, that could be a good idea. Where in LA could we make a fucking 20-foot flame, though? Like, that's what I'm... Like, oh, skip... No, skid row, dude. Let's that's, go to the top of the mountain and do it. No, just we can't drive to a fucking mountain, dude. The, the thing, the, yeah, that's the thing. Like, skid... Like, bro, skid row, like, the police don't care and stuff. That's a big fire. And if I will go to I'll go to jail if I get if the police come like actual jail. So maybe the beach. Actually, the beach could be good. Harvey, you want to go to the beach and burn the fucking beanbag? Why are you trying to be safe? Oh, I don't really care about being safe. I just don't want to go to jail and I don't want to get evicted at the moment. Wait till I get to Streamer House, but. Uh, I think, I think the, uh, yeah, one of the, actually the LA river, oh, the LA way. river, dude. All right, let's go to the LA river and then let's bring a fire extinguisher just in case the police come. All right, let's, uh, let's go then. Fuck it, dude. Let's, let's head over to the LA river and let's get the ship going and then we'll, uh, figure out what to do from there. How, wait, how far is the LA river from here? I don't even know where the fuck it is, dude. Honestly, I don't even know. I feel like the police are going to come, but hopefully not. Um, let me see, L.A. River. Where's that? How do we get there? Mm-hmm. 
Now curse on. All right, the river. My bean bags are ten feet wide. Uh, thank you, dude. You must have a good lawyer who knows the limits of pushing content. CX, keep it up, dude. I mean, I don't have a lawyer, but I probably fucking should. And I'm scamming hella fucking donations. I'm sorry, my shit's not working. Let me say, hey, what's up, guys? You remember former Charlie? Well, your friend here is the equivalent of him. So let's call him Atlantic Atlanta Charlie. P.S. The guy has psychotic tendencies. This guy's saying you have psych psychotic tendencies, but I don't think you do. Thank get, you. get this mongoloid off stream. Listen to this sub 100 IQ downy speak. Makes me want a neck. <laughs> okay, that's fucked up. Uh, no, that's you, you're fucked up. But thank you, dude. All right, let's um, let's go. It's like a 20 minute drive to get to the river. So let's just get over there and uh, get the shit going. So. Let me get to the live view. Let me switch to the camera, go all this shit, and then, uh, yeah, give me a sec. Give me like five, ten minutes, and uh, hopefully we don't go to jail. We won't. I'm not worried about it. All right, give, give me like five, ten minutes, chat. 